Reason number 11 that people stop maintaining a habit is something that will happen to all of us. Not to say that the response to that something needs to be the same, but it will happen to all of us. And that is, it's linked to number 10, but it takes a slightly different take. We have a cold. Uh, we can't breathe through the nasal passages. We get the flu. Or whatever. As a result, we can't do that exercise the form we used to take, or we, we do, maybe we're doing some alternate nostril breathing. We go, oh, I can't do alternate nostril breathing anymore. My no, nasal passage is blocked up, therefore I can't do it. So we create a reason around it. So what's happened here is because of some external circumstances, we can no longer do the thing we committed to as well. doesn't mean we can't do it at all. Okay, I get it. if you've injured your leg, you can't run if that was your commitment, but it doesn't mean you can't do exercise. Right? You can still use your arms, you can do press-ups, you can you know, you can swim, you can do pull-ups, you can do something else, you can use a hand bicycle, I don't know. Things that don't involve legs. There's other forms of fitness, plenty that don't involve legs. Similarly, if you're doing a breathing technique and suddenly you've got a blocked nose, it doesn't mean you can't do it, it just means you go It's gonna be like that, and you probably won't get any particular benefit that day, but that's not the game. The game is to continue the habit. So number 11 is recognizing that it doesn't have to be excellent all the time, and it's not going to be, and nor are you going to experience bliss after every single instance of that. Sometimes you go for that run and you won't get that adrenaline high after, or that endorphin high, I should say, afterwards. Sometimes you're going to do that meditation or that breathing technique and you won't feel any better afterwards. But to place that expectation that you would is naive and it's immature. And it's again going back to that habit of wanting instant gratification rather than long-term satisfaction. So recognize that there will be times, there will be colds, there will be flus, there will be things which interfere with your ability to perform it to the highest standard. Don't worry about that. That's not the goal. The goal is to continue. Come what may.